Hello and welcome to Keep Sports. I am Mumuju Kajaga. Thank you for joining us. Coming up tonight, we're talking about schools athletics. The regional championship, for that matter, it was held in Farafeni for three days, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. More than 20 schools took part in this athletics championship and we're going to bring you all the details you will hear from the athletes, the competition itself and also the president of the Gambia Secondary School Sports Association, Ismaila. And all that details will be coming. We'll also be looking at cycling, not a popular sport in the Gambia, but they're organizing the national championship on the 18th of February. That's Independence Day, the day that Gambians will be celebrating their independence. All that on tonight's Q Sports. Welcome and thank you if you're just joining us. This is Q Sports and I am Mumutu Kachaka. We're going to talk about schools athletics in Farafenye. I was there to witness more than 20 schools compete in different categories of athletics, both track and field. In the tracks, 800 meters, 100 meters, 200 meters, 5,000 meters, 3,000 meters, you name them. Also, in the field events, suck put, long jump, high jump, and other sports as well. You'll hear from the athletes. You will also hear from the competition organizers. Ismaila is the president. You will also hear from the president. Let's get you all the details in Farafenye. As I was there for three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and that's the regional championship. All these athletes are looking for the qualifiers. That's a qualifying spot in the national event, which will be held at the Independence Stadium in March. Let's get you the details in Farafenya. Well, so many schools are competing in the Inter-Schools Regional Championship here at the Farafenya Mini Stadium. Eight years ago, I was on this very ground when more than 20 schools were competing in the national event. And all these championships, they're looking for qualifiers for the national one, the finals at the Independence Stadium. And it's been electric. It's been a fantastic atmosphere from Friday, Saturday, and today, Sunday, being the final. Tens of athletes will be taking part in this event, and all of them are looking for a qualification spot in the national event. And once they get to the national event, that is where the real competition is. And we are looking forward to that. It's been athletic special here at the Farafenya Mini Stadium. <laughs> My name is Zakel, Zakel Lamba, from Farafenye Senior Secondary School. Okay, you ran in the 800 meters and you came out first and it was almost about a distance, about 50 meters between you and the second place. Tell us how were you able to manage to do this? Yeah, yeah, because last year I prepared for the, last year I was preparing for this event and the, and the corona came and we, the inter school was not able to happen. So this year I prepared for it. And that SL boy also, he beat me my upper basic school. Then I trained hard so that when we went to senior school, I will beat him also. Tell us how was the race? Was, was it easy for you or was it very difficult? No, for me, it was easy for me because I believe myself that I will win the race because I deserve it. I trained for it, that's why I have no doubt about the event. And I believe that I will win it, that's why and I came with first position also. You had a lot of support from the crowd, that's from your fellow schoolmates. Tell us about what does that make you feel? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel happy because here yeah, is my home ground. The all around Farafenya, they know me very well. Even the kids, they used to come here supporting me, Zagel, Zagel. Even right now, if I go there, you know, they will support me. That's why. So when I see them, I 
I feel when I stand in the lane to, if I don't win my, my race, I used to cry because I know that they will feel bad, all of them. Oh, now you've won the regional championship at this level. The main final is going to be at the Independent Stadium. You will meet other schools there. Are you confident that you can win the 800? Yeah, 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 because I will prepare better and better so that when I win there, it will be easy for me. Because if I don't train hard, I know that I cannot defeat them because them also, they will train hard like me also. So that rate, it will not be easy for me. There goes the whistle, the 4 by 100 meters relay has already begun and that's the girls running there and for the next 400 meters they have to run with speed, endurance and hand over the baton to one of their teammates and that will happen in sequence until the final end here at the finish point. It's been a very very lucrative here at the Farafenya Mini Stadium as you continue to enjoy the athletics. My name is Amadou Eso from SLC Senior Secondary School. Okay. You came out first in the 5,000 meters. Tell us, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling tired and pain in my body because 5,000 is not an easy event. It's a long distance event. You have to have endurance, speed, energy have to be there to, do, to push it for the last 200 meters. Have you been training very hard prior to this event? Yeah, I was training very, very hard. I started training since August. Started training. Well, this is at the regional level. There will be the final for the national level. Do you think you can go all the way and win that one as well? Inshallah, that is my dream and that is what I am aiming for, to win. Because this one, I just come here to qualify and go to the stadium. There is the talk, there is the job. I have to do it there for my school. You want to make your school proud, SL Senior Secondary School? Yeah, I want to make our school proud, uh, especially our principal, Mr. Adam Ajeng, and also the staff of SL Senior Secondary School. And my coach, 190, aka Mamudu Kijere. Thank him so much. He's the man who supports me always, give me courage, train me both day and night. It's not easy, but thank him very much. Good luck and wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. My name is Mbai Kor. Okay, Mbai, you came out second in the 5,000 meters. Tell us how are you feeling right now? Yeah, I came out with second position and I'm feeling okay. I'm so proud because I have trained almost four months. Yes. For this event today? Yes. Um, you came close yes. with the guy who came in first. Um, yeah, uh, tell yeah. us, why didn't you beat him? He beat me because of his speed. Yeah, I used to, well, I used, I, I should improve on my yeah, this thing. Okay. speed. Speed. Yes. But overall, you are contended with the second place? Yes, I'm so happy with my second position. Yes. So, how about the national event going to the stadium? I'm ready to go now, but I want first position there when I go. Yes. All right. Wish you all the best. Okay, thank you. But just before you go, the captain Amban, are you the captain of your team or the captain of your school? I'm the captain of our school. Bifele Boroke Jan 3000 meters, it is a four star. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going And now, let's talk about cycling. Well, cyclists in the Gambia. Organized by the Gambia Cycling Association on the 18th February, will take on the roads and ride their bicycles for a distance of more than 100 kilometers. It's going to be from Kalaji right down to Banjul. If you know where Kalaji is, of course, that is where Fonyi ends before you enter into the lower river region that is in the Jara end. And from that place, cyclists are going to ride their bicycles in a competition of the national championships and with the details of that in the studio joining me is Momodu Jalo who is the vice president of the Gambia Cycle Association. 
Let's have a discussion. And I have with me in the studio, the Vice President of the Gambia Cycling Association, Mumudu Jalo. Mumudu, welcome to the studio. Yeah, thank you very much, Gajaga. And you know, thank you for having me here today. Uh, it's a big event that you're having, yeah. that is on the 18th of February, yes. Independence Day, yeah. the Gambia, for also the a very important day. Yeah, that's the national championship. So that's why we do it you know, on that day, because to commemorate the event. So it's a big day for the whole Gambia. Those and even those living in the Gambia who are not even Gambians. So it's a big day. Yeah. Um, t tell us about the event. Um, cycling is not one of the most popular sports in Gambia. In fact, for many, when they see you in the streets cycling, even with your gears, yes. you already have your helmet, yes. you have your s cycling warmers as well exactly. with your cycle. Yes. You know, going past in the streets especially on the main highway yeah especially for drivers they think okay these people are just playing on the road absolutely um thanks for asking this question um if one of our main concern our main main concern because it's not easy um seeing you riding the bicycle thinking that you know he just he's just riding he's just a mere you know someone who is just riding like that no that's not the case we are riding we are riding for a purpose. purpose because you know we have a purpose that's why we hold the helmet put it on the head and have the bicycle and to ride so but then we find it very very difficult to have safety on road you know some of these driver most especially these um, uh, these taxi drivers they don't care they don't care they do whatever they like, you know, they feel like doing, you know, and after the next whatever happened, you have been already, you know, been touched by a car. So they see And the repercussions is die of the, you you suffer from yeah, injuries you, you, sometimes. You, you, sometimes you, even death. Yes. Yeah, because if, if you are knocked down by a vehicle Some 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 of our old cyclists, they park the bike is because of these accidents. They stop cycling. They stop cycling because, because accident. Some of them are crippled. Some, you know, of them has a very serious injury whereby doctors advise them not to ride back, ride again. So this is the problem. This is the case. So, but then we try, like we invite us. So I say a big thank you for that. Yes, so, that's yeah, obviously part of us yes. um, as people who work in the sports media. We try to accommodate every sport, even lesser known sports like cycling exactly. but for this one um, this is the national championship yeah you would need so many cyclists to be part of it um, absolutely the yeah. event is starting in kalaji yeah kalaji. and ending in banjo in banjo that's yeah. a lot of kilometers to yes. ride yes that's 132 kilometers it will not going to be easy maybe my colleague the cyclists they are hearing me so but i let them know that it is not going to be an easy thing. It will going to be a tough thing. It is a very, going to be a very, very tough challenge. So Have some of them done it before? They've even gone yeah, distances? Which yes, are yes. Some of them have... Yes, distance longer than that. Because we, some of them uh, ride here to Basse. Some of them ride here to Zigansor and come back one day. So some of them go to, you know, here to uh, what they call Farafenye and come back. So therefore, they are used to it. But then... This time we have a lot of new cyclists in them. So, but then, and those who normally do it before, it's been a while, some of them, you know, don't train. So, but then they know it, you know, back three months back, they know that we are going to have an, uh, a championship. Yeah. So, on that champion, they prepare for it. And I believe, you know, it will be a very great competition. Uh, in terms of the arrangements, yes. we're just talking about a few days to go, well, before actually they get onto the roads to yes, start riding yes, their bicycles. Yes, yes. Uh, what are some of the logistical arrangements on the ground? Um, so far, so good. Um, we have already um, uh, have worked with, you know, our, I can call it a brother and a partner, that's King Koli. He have allocated us two motorbikes and uh, we are- As escorts. As escorts, two motorbikes. Um, and the Gambia Fire Rescue Service Operator, we also, talk to them and they also respond in a very positive way so as as at now for the Gab Gambia fire and rescue service they are they will be there and um, uh, the two motorbike the police are going are going to be there as well so but then our main concern is um, it's like um, when coming from Kalaji to Mandinaba 
and Bandinaba to Banjul. From Kalaji to Mandinaba, it will not be a tough thing. Because there's not much traffic not in much around traffic. that. But then yeah. from Mandinaba, going to Banjul will be a very big problem. So our main concern is the safety of the cyclists. And there, um, it's going to be a very tough challenge. And we cannot do that without the cooperation of the police. So this is our main concern, and this is our headache. And this is what we are crying for. Because not even long ago, some of these cyclists, you know, they went out for training. Taxi, some taxi drivers, you know, happened to hit them. And now, right now, some of them, you know, they are under treatment. And, and they cannot, you know, come and compete. And what, as I'm talking to you, one of them is our best cyclist. Who, who, who is that, that cyclist? Yes, Usman Jani at the moment. So, and some of the new cyclists also got accidents. So there are two among them also, the new cyclists, but then they are not old. They are the new cyclists. Cyclists. So, so therefore... So all of these three will not be taking not part in the competition part because, because of they are accidents. injured. Injured. And currently going yeah. on the treatment. Yes, on the treatment. That so is a very sad one. So um, since the police are going to give you escort, yes, um, that's assured, how about what message are you going to give the drivers? Cycling is also an important sport. It Absolutely. may be new to many Gambians, especially the drivers on the road. They think these people are just having fun, but they are doing a sport. And on that particular day, on the 18th of February, is their competition date. It's yes. the national championship. Yes. Um, the message I have for... I call them my brothers, our colleagues. We are partners in development. We all want, you know, the advancement of the Gambia. But then seeing us, you know, riding, we are not playing. As you are seeing me. I wear the gears and put my helmet. I go for training along with them, despite the fact that I'm the vice president. I don't consider myself as the vice president. No, I do. I e even teach, you know, uh, some kids Arabic in, at home. I have a dara. But then that doesn't... I know I'm, I'm doing a job. Yeah. I'm doing a job. This is a job. You are not playing. And we should respect each other. And we job. should respect the job. Me leaving, you know, everything that I'm doing, I'm put on the gears, put the helmet, I'm uh, go through, you know, to the road for a training. I'm not playing. But then the drivers, many of them, see us as some people whom, you know, they aim. So it's like, you know, you, we don't have aim. We are playing. And we are not playing. I know it's like um, uh, the authorities responsible for helping cycling, you know, to get popular in the Gambia here and for it to be advanced. Um, uh, yet still, we call them to come on board and see how best they can, you know, work with us, you know, to try and see the cycling develop in the Gambia. So. Jalo, drivers are one thing. Um, we've talked about them in terms of the awareness. Let them know that this is cycling, it's yes. a sport. These people are not playing on the road. Yes. They are not having any fun, but they are doing something that really is a sport. And number two, it is a sport that pays. You can do it up to professional level. Absolutely. The Tour de France, you know, the Tour de Italy and other countries. But I think when it comes to the Gambia, that infrastructural development, don't you think the National Roads Authority also have a say in this? When they build roads, they can build parts for, uh, where it's for cyclists. Cycling, yeah. The National Road Authority, I think um, that's why I said, you know, the authorities involved. So when it comes to development of cycling, but then as I'm talking to you, maybe, maybe some of them will see it as just a mere talk. It's not a mere talk. I'm talking of something that you know it will come in future. Maybe I will not, you know, you know, be part of the enjoyment. But then we should work on that. Maybe in 25 years to come, we have to work for that. Right now, we are paving the way for others to come. Yeah. So, um, in this regard, the authorities responsible. If we call them, they should listen. And they should know that we are not playing. And going back, I just want to, you know, lament more on them, these drivers. I just want us to go back to the drivers. drivers because okay. uh, the drivers, their issue also, you know, is, you know, is our main concern. So from Mandinaba to Banjul, it will be a very, very, very tight 
traffic. Right. So, right. but then I call on them and I, you know, beg, let them understand. On that day, 18 February 2022, will be the national championship. That's for the Gambia It is cycling. for the Gambia cycling. It is not for me, not for you, not for them. But then it is for everybody. everybody it is for Gambia. that's the national national championship. It's the national championship whereby we select our champion and know this the champion for the Gambia. Gambia. So by doing so, I think they also have part to play. So I call them, let them respect the cyclists. Let them know that on that day, inshallah, Rabbi, we will be on road together with them. We know that they are not our enemies, but then we are partners. partners. So, but then they have to understand just maybe two hours ride, it will be a very quick and fast championship. championship. We do not waste time on road. I know the boys, they will ride almost um, uh, 40, I tell you, 45 to maybe to, uh, to, to 45 to 50 per hour, hmm. kilometer per hour. hour. Yes, they will ride that because they train for it. They can do it. I know. So it will be a very quick one. So a quick one. The yes. drivers there, you get it. Um, mm. In terms of people who are your partners, um, the Ministry of Youth and Sports, the National Sports Council, have they been aware about this national championship and what has been their response in terms of support? Thank you for asking this question. Um, uh, the Gambia National Sport Council, they are partners. Um, and the Gambia National Olympic Committee, they Olympic. are also partners. GNOC. GNOC. And the Ministry of Youth and Sport, they are also partners. But then we wrote to the Sport Council, we wrote to them in advance. Tell you, one month back, we wrote to them to inform them what we are up to. But then yet still, till today, as I'm talking to you, we have no response from them. Okay. So when, when you wrote to them, uh, let's just get this thing clear. Um, your request is to invite them to the competition or is it to seek for support in a particular way? W w which kind um, of support did you require? Yes. Sports Council. Mama, we, it's not, um, we seek for support. Okay. For them to come on board, you know, because um, they are the one responsible to assist and, you know, support us the national association the, yes the national association they are there without the national association sport council is zero yes they we are there exist. for them yes we make them to be alive uh, yep, of course. without us they are zero so if we request you know their support i think you know one way or the other they should have respond but then we wrote to them we don't wrote you know to invite but then we wrote to them to seek for support and at the same time we invite them Okay. How about the Gambia National Olympic Committee? Thank God. The National Olympic Committee, NOC, they um, uh, really did a very tremendous thing. They are very, you know, good partners and they have been with us since day one. Um, the time this idea came, um, thank to the current new president, Betty Allen, we sat with her and have conversation meeting. We put out this idea and he supported it instant without having to mind on it. I will support it. And he is, uh, she is there rather, supporting it 110%. Yes, so we're looking yes. forward to the event. It's going to be on the 18th of February. And just under 30 seconds, in terms of the support, normally what we see in international cycling, people on the side of the road, even if they don't know much about cycling, but they will cheer the cyclists up. Maybe if you have a word for people who will be around on the roads. Yes. Um, yes. Um, uh, you see why I'm smiling? It's like um, we have um, uh, um, a veteran cyclist among us, but then just currently he's back to UK, but then he's a veteran. He's seen those pictures that, you know, was back a days like, um, uh, 1967 in those days but then they were just riding and he told us that you know his last ride in the Gambia competition was 1986. With that we say thank you very much for watching Q Sports that's all we have for you until we come your way next week keep on sporting and have a pleasant night bye